I've always been really intrigued about making my own stuff. I drew inspiration from a lot of these different products, you know, Spring Break, guys in Tahoe, that was really a cool project. Uh, the Grassroots guys in Utah, Ole Nyvelt in Europe for sure, and his powder surfing, and of course the no-board guys here in BC. And I just really wanted to take all these aspects, mix them together, and, and make powder surfing or snow surfing the way I envisioned it. It's all about sensation, and I think on a normal snowboard, a standard side cut snowboard, you really, you're really adapting. You're taking a, you're taking a device that's made for hard pack snow, and you're putting it into the powder, and it rides well, but you'd be shocked how much you actually adapt. The engaging parts of the board are really at the very ends, and it's actually kind of challenging to, to control. Reverse side cut, you're engaging the deepest penetrating part of the snowboard's right between your feet. So you have so much more control over it and you have so, so much more opportunity to manipulate the radius within it within a turn so you never get that feeling like you're stuck on the rail and, and overall the sensation is way way more surfy I mean that's that's why we all that's why Tom Sims RIP dude that that's why he started snowboarding was like trying to emulate that surf sensation surfing on snow and, and this I I really feel and from all my experience riding these reverse side cut boards, this is the closest thing you're going to get to surfing on snow. First of all, they're really easy to ride. I've put a ton of different people on them. After six or seven turns even, they kind of flick their switch and say, oh wow, I just, I have to surf. You know, I don't even think about moving like a snowboarder anymore. From working on a lot of different things, you know, uh, one project at a time. The first was to really perfect this board. Just I spent a lot of time on the flex pattern and making it operate more like a surfboard. Uh, I have a really stiff, what I call a static nose. The stiffest part of this whole board is right in front of your front foot. So you can attack the nose. You can just go for it at the beginning of the turn and, and move forward like you've never done before on the snowboard. And again, that's that taking it more to the surf sensation. Other things that are different, it's definitely directional. You know, I, I love Travis's board, and I think for a lot of people, the twins way to go. But for me, this reverse side cut thing just screamed directional, directional, directional. So I definitely made it as such. And there's a lot of tail taper, which makes these boards even faster yet. They don't slow down through the turn as much as a board with traditional side cut. The side cuts has drag. It's slow. I guess I've always been better known as racer guy and Mr. Hardpack and carving and, and such, but you know my passion's always been about the whole spectrum of the sport. And when I started snowboarding, you know my first first contest I got a podium in was New England Cup half pipe actually. Uh, I've always always been attracted to the sensation of carving. Anything on a board, I've always loved to see how tight I could turn the things. And, uh, the powder it's really no different you know and sometimes those are those are some of the best conditions and I really wanted to create a product that just optimizes your sensation uh, in those magic moments let's face it like some of the most memorable times days of your life are those ones uh, out there when it's waist deep and sunny and you're with your friends and I just wanted to maximize that I had some specific goals in mind when I started this. One, I wanted to make boards in Canada. Two, I wanted to have a line that had a normal snowboard, and then I really wanted to focus on some boards you could ride with or without bindings that were also inexpensive. So as soon as you go to the whole powder surfer no board scene, you don't really need steel edges, you don't need a super fancy construction. Uh, some of the older constructions, horizontal laminate, etc., uh, skateboard constructions basically, worked awesome. 25 years ago. So I'm kind of going back to that and those are a few of the few of the directions I'm working towards and you'll be seeing those coming through the pipeline here real soon.